Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it has been like forever since I've uploaded a video. In fact, I feel like the last video I probably uploaded was my recommendation video for my birthday last year. So even though I don't really upload ever, uh, I couldn't miss out on doing my annual birthday book recommendation list that I have done since 2016. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Every year on my birthday, I recommend you guys the number of books reflective of the age that I'm turning. So I started in 2016 when I turned 21, and now I'm 29, which is scary, because even though 29 isn't old uh, per se, obviously, like, you know, it's, it's 29. There are a lot of people a lot older than me. The fact is, this is the oldest I've ever been, so it's kind of scary. But anyway, I will have an existential crisis off camera um, because right now we are going to be focusing on the books that I want to recommend to you guys for in honor of my birthday this year. So if you are familiar with uh, my birthday book recommendation list, uh, you will probably know that a few of these books have appeared on previous lists, but actually a lot of books are new to the list which is really exciting and obviously it kind of goes without saying that just because I recommended a book in the past and I haven't mentioned it here in this list doesn't mean that I don't still really enjoy it and recommend it so if you want even more book recommendations it's definitely worth going back and checking out all of my previous lists so you can see all of the other books that have appeared on the list and also the books that have continually popped up on the list because obviously those are the ones that I really flip and love so without further ado let's get into it If you are familiar with these videos, you will know that because there are a lot of books we've got to get through, and I don't want to be 30 by the time we get to the end of this video, I'm going to share with you guys obviously the title, the cover, the author, what number it appears in a series, and then I am sharing three short words or phrases to describe that book. So kind of like a bit of a trope roundup kind of thing, and some interesting uh, little tidbits that might pique your interest about that book. If you are interested in learning more, there's a blog post in the top line of the description that has all of these books listed and within that I've linked to my reviews for all of these books so you'll be able to see what the book is about and a little bit more about my thoughts on them. First we have The Cock Down the Block by Amy Award. This is the first book in the Cocky Kingman's series. I will say you do have to search this book with the asterisk that you can see in the title here rather than straight up cock because um, Amy has had to sort of censor herself in order for her book to actually appear um, on websites. So just a reminder, just a heads up about that. Football romance plus size rep friends to lovers. Next up, book number two is The Au Pair Affair by Tessa Bailey, the second book in the Big Shots, Big Shots series. Hockey romance, single dad and the nanny age gap. Then we have Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, the first book in the Bright Falls series. Sapphic romance, single mum, sister's best friend. Then we have The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. Queer romance, reality dating, forced proximity. Then we have The Ride of Her Life by Jennifer Duggan. Sapphic romance, cowgirls, hallmark vibes. Book number six is The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. Grey's Anatomy vibes, fake dating and notting. Another book by Lana Ferguson because I couldn't not include this one as well and that is The Nanny, Single Dad and The Nanny, Spicy Creator and Found Family. Next up is Welcome to Paradise by Lee Gold. This is the first book in the Resort series. Sapphic romance, spicy summer and no third act breakup. Then we have If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. Queer romance, boy band, secret relationship. Number 10 is Not In The Plan by Dana Hawkins which is a book in like spicy Chicago or something like that. There is a series name for this but it's not like that necessary and important whatever. Sapphic Romance, Friends to Lovers, Found Family. Then there is The DM Diaries by Tegan Hunter. Secret Identity, Plus Size Rep and In the DMs. Next up, one of my all-time favorite romance authors, we have Secret Puck by Rebecca Zhenshak, the first book in the Campus Night series. Hockey Romance, Teammate Sister, Swoony. Then Unlucky or Lucky number 13 is In the Event of Love by Courtney Kay, the first book in the Fern Falls series. Sapphic Romance, Besties to Lovers, Hallmark Vibes. Then we have The Goal by Elle Kennedy, which is like the third book? The fourth book. It's the fourth book in the Off Campus series. I didn't write that down for some reason. Hockey Romance, One Night Stand, Unexpected Pregnancy. Then we have the first of two fantasy books on this list and that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, the first book in the Nevernight Chronicles. School for Assassins, All the Sass and 
oozing with blood. Then we have A Lesbian's Guide to Women by Erica Lee, Sapphic Romance, Spice Lessons, Friends with Benefits. The other fantasy book on this list should come as no surprise to anyone who knows me, and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas, the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, Fantasy Romance, Spicy Bat Boys, and All the World Building. Then we have Lassoed Love by Elle Mariah, the first book in the Bottle Creek series, Frenemies to Lovers, Second Chance, and Small Town. Number 19 is Not Here to Make Friends by Jodie McAllister, the third book in the Marry Me Juliet trilogy, Reality Dating, Frenemies to Lovers, and All the Messy Drama. On the home stretch now, we have Here for Me by Brooke Montgomery, the first book in the Sugarland. Creek series, Forbidden, Age Gap, and X's Dad. Then we have A Cowboy for Alyssa by Shirley Pennick, the first book in the Burlap and Barbed Wire series, Cowboys, Boss Employee, e, and Age Gap. Then we have A Town Like Clarence by Stella Quinn, Rural Romance, Family History, Nosy Townspeople. Then we have Parking Around by Emily Rath, the first book in the Jacksonville Rays series, Hockey Romance, White Shoes, 750 pages of impure spice. Then we have Because of Him by Jessica Rowe, the first book in the Fortunate series, Forbidden, All the Feels, and Family Drama. Continuing with some cowboy romances, because yee and all that, we have The Single Dad by Abby Sabina, the second book in A series. Again, I didn't write this down. It's like, it's, yeah. Anyway, Single Dad and the Nanny, Grumpy Sunshine, and Age Gap. Then we have Done and Dusted by Lila Sage, the first book in the Rebel Blue Ranch series. Cowboys, Bestie's Brother, and Anxiety, PT PTSD, and ADHD Rep. We have The Other Queen of Cowboy Romance, and that is Reckless by Elsie Silver, the fourth book in the Chestnuts Springs series. One Night Stand, Small Town, and Grumpy Sunshine. The penultimate book is Mistakes Were Made by Meryl Wilesner, Age Gap, Roommate's Mum, and All the Spice. And finally, the last book for this list is More Than Ship Baits by Philippa Young, the first book in the Below Deck series. Brew Ship, Forced Proximity, and Spicy Shenanigans. As I said earlier in the video, if any of these books have piqued your interest, check out that blog post linked in the description to learn more about all of these books. You will also find all of my previous lists linked within that blog post and I'll also link below my bookish playlist so you can just go peruse some previous videos that I have made about books. If you've read any of these books please let me know, let's have a conversation about them in the comments. Let me know which books you are eyeing off and also if you have any books that are similar to the ones that I have mentioned leave them below so I can add them to my TBR and never get around to reading them. Now because I rarely upload on this channel if you want to keep up with all of the books that I am reading you will find me predominantly over on Instagram. All of my social links are in the description so please go follow me and let's chat about books and other things as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will, I want to say I'll see you soon with another video but who knows when that's going to be. So if I do not see you soon I will definitely see you in 12 months time for the Dirty 30 list. Actually that's a good theme for next year's list. I should have a theme for the for my 30th birthday list. I could have like, just all like spicy smutty books. As if that's a change from any of the books I recommended right now. Leave it with me folks, leave it with me. Okay, I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Bye.